In this video, I'll show how to use the macro for counting DAB labeled cells within an area of interest or a region of interest uh, using ImageJ's internal batching process. So to do that, we need all of the images that have a region of interest in them. So for example, if we just open one of these up in ImageJ, I've drawn in the region of interest in each of these images. The batching process and the macro looks for all of those images in a single folder. So once the, once the region of interest has been drawn, they all need to be in a single folder and then the macro, or rather the batching process, will then just work through each of the images in that folder and produce a summary of those results. So to run the, run the macro as a batch process, you open image J, uh, go to process, batch, and macro, and that will bring up this batch process screen. It then needs an input folder, and for that folder, you should put the folder that has all your images with the regions of interest in them. The macro also looks for an output folder where it saves the threshold images. We don't actually need the threshold images, but the macro and the batch process will output those images into a particular folder. And so it's, it will look for that particular folder. And so we just need to give it one. And we're putting, I just made up a separate folder in order to, oops, in order to, um, in order to put them into. So just make up any old folder and just direct that towards that folder. The output format will be TIFF. We don't need to use these next two inputs. We don't need to add a macro code and we don't need file name contains. In this window down here is where the macro is. So to find the macro, click open and go to wherever you've kept the macro. And I'll email that to you shortly. We're using this Niagara cell counts for batching macro. So I'm going to select that and open. And so that's the text that's written in here. This is the actual macro that the batching process is running. And then we just click process. Now all of that then runs in the background. And so you can't actually see anything happening, but eventually the summary window is going to open when it adds some data into it. So there's the first image done and that's the number of cells it's counted. And so you'll see one line of data for each image that you have in your folder. I've got 28, so I'm expecting 28 lines of data. Now, unfortunately, Fiji doesn't show when it's actually finished a process or not. It just stops doing something. Uh, and so, and, and, and only some of the processes have a progress bar down the bottom. So after a while, data will just stop being added to the summary table and then you know it's done. So, um, so keep an eye out for that. But that's the process by which uh, the data will be put into here and which um, by which you use this, this macro in order to batch process uh, a whole heap of sections. Now, just one thing to point out while we're here, occasionally you'll see data like this point here and this section here uh, that say zero counts. That just means during the, the processing, there's this thresholding step. Uh, and that just means everything labeled on that particular section is below the threshold that we've chosen. Uh, the total area isn't the area of interest, isn't the region of interest that we've drawn. The total area is the total area of cells uh, that have been outlined by this process. Uh, so just be aware that that's why that says zero, even though there's still a region of interest drawn on that particular section. And so that's how you run this macro.